Hi guys! So, um, I hope you're all okay, just to put that out there, I hope you're all fine. Uh, basically I wanted to talk to you today about the December Glossy Box. Now, you probably have noticed that I've done a Glossy Box video for every month apart from November, and that's primarily because I wasn't overly impressed with November's Glossy Box, and I wanted to try out a few of the products just to see if I liked them first. Never got around to doing that, unfortunately, because things have been so busy. But, um, I wonder whether it was just with me, whether it was because every other glossy box has been so good that I just keep building my expectations higher and higher that when November's glossy box came through I was like oh okay well that's actually not what I was expecting um, so I didn't actually talk about it because I was quite disappointed um, I know loads of other people weren't um, I had the glossy box here um, I was as I said I was going to open them all and try it and see how I got on I'll quickly run through everything with you now um, it's not the kind of stuff that I would have expected um, but, you know, as I said, as I said, right back in the beginning when I first started getting my glossy boxes, it's the whole luck of the draw. You just get what you get, basically. Um, which I think is kind of the whole, you know, excitement of them anyway. But the first thing I got was the, um, was Nail Rock Nail Stickers. Now, obviously, um, Nail Wrap, sorry. Obviously, we got these back in, was it August? July, August. So for me, um, I didn't actually like those ones. So when I received these ones, and they're, you know, they're leopard print as well. Um, I don't have any nails, so I'm not actually going to use these. Um, and they're not really anything that I would probably give away as a present. So, um, I mean, that's not to say I probably will end up using them at some point anyway, but I don't really like nail stickers, because I have so much nail varnish. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with those. We've got more perfume samples. Um, these do smell very samey actually I found um, but I have so many perfume samples now and I'm kind of more of a one perfumey kind of person so I wasn't... the one thing I did like was the bath salts from the um, Dead Sea Spa Magic. Um, we got the uh, salt scrubs a couple of months ago so I actually was quite excited to get this because I loved the salt scrubs. Um, I'm actually going to try and probably use these either tonight or tomorrow. They're probably the only thing in the box that I was kind of jumping at. Um, we also received a cooling foot cream and um, a line smoothing skin perfecter, which I haven't used. I actually wanted to use this one. Um, but as I said, it just wasn't, it wasn't screaming at me. It wasn't screaming, you know, oh my god, this is incredible. However, my faith in Glossy Box has been restored, which is fantastic because I love the company, I love the people, I love the concept, I think it's an amazing, an amazing, um, you know, thing to do. I, I love Glossy Box, so I'm glad I stuck with it because part of me wanted to leave last month because I just thought, you know, I, I didn't, well, as I said, I wasn't impressed and I didn't want to, I didn't want to stick with it. However, December Glossy Box, I am so unbelievably excited about. I really, really am. It comes in a red box this time. It's very festively red. I absolutely love it. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And the packaging inside this time was white tissue with black ribbon. And I think that's just really, really stylish. So when you open the box, um, you get the little card somewhere. I don't know. Oh, was that? Um, and they've now introduced Glossy Box for Men which is the same concept as the glossy box that the women get, only it's things for men and they are quarterly, not every month. So this is talking about the fact that it's now the Christmas box and um, the, the January box might be a little bit later because they're all taking a break because obviously they've been really busy, which is absolutely fine. It's a well-deserved break. And then you get into the products, which I'm absolutely loving. So the first thing that we got was a Blink and Go high definition mascara. And how cool is that packaging? I love it. Um, it's a long-lasting black mascara, and I just absolutely love this whole kind of, you know, um, really basic packaging, but it really, really stands out. Um, it's for longer, thicker, sexier lashes, and they give them a stunning, flake-free, waterproof boost. And I love it. It comes in a little packet like that, and then when you take it out... It is a full-sized um, full product, which retails at fourteen ninety nine. So this is the mascara, and I love it. It's on a really, really, really little, kind of small-ish brush. Um, but yes, I love that. Um, I love mascara. I think it's one of my one of my all-time must-haves. Like, even if I don't put any eyeshadow on, I have to wear mascara. 
Um, the next thing was a Cargo Cosmetics lip gloss, and this is a, um, a um, sample size. Um, it is Cargo's new lip gloss formula, great shades, great wear, and high shine without being sticky. As a full size, this would be um, £10. Now this um, is in the colour, I don't know if it's got a colour, oh, Las Vegas. And this is really, really beautiful, kind of taupey, natural, natural brown. There, oh, there it is, look, from Cargo. I'll do a swatch of it. It's beautiful. I've already swatched it on my hand once today to show Steve. When we were driving in the car, I wanted to wait and open it but you can just see it there, it's this really really beautiful and you guys know that I love my neutral natural shades anyway so I'm so so excited about that and it really isn't sticky at all you know that is uh, so nice, it smells really sweet as well which I love the next product is a Deborah, Deborah, Deborah Lipman um, Razzle Dazzle Mini Nail Varnish um, with a strip to go sachet so this is a tiny two in one a full size of this would be in um, full size of this uh, is £16 and uh, you get a pack of six removers um, as well um, this one you only get one but the removers are £14 um, um, it's a party glitter nail colour with a sachet of the most amazing polish remover fingernail mitt um, so one mitt cleans all ten nails so you get one of those and then you get the, oh look at that absolutely gorgeous so like really really rich cranberry color and it's got absolutely loads and loads of spot look at that i can't wait to wear this it's gorgeous and for a tiny little bottle as well and it's not too thick either the brush is quite a nice quite a nice size so i was really 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 impressed with that as well the next thing is a Mimi Me 7th Heaven, a luxurious moisturising face base enriched with active nutrients and extracts to prime and nourish the skin. Full size one of these would be £15. One of them. Um, this is a sample size of the 7th Heaven um, and it's just a really lovely kind of mousse um, cream um, which smells incredible. Wow, um, and obviously this is just a face base. I will be using this, especially over Christmas, because I want my makeup to last as long as possible. So, so far, um, apart from the mascara, sample sizes of everything, until you get to this one. Now, this is the Rituals Foaming Shower Gel. Um, it's a unique uh, foaming shower gel which gently cleanses your skin and leaves it soft and silky. Full size retails at £6.50, but that is a full size product. It's called Yogi Flow and it is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil and I tell you guys, this smells absolutely amazing. I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand or I'll just shoot it all over the bedroom. Brilliant Harriet, well done. Yeah, okay, bit of a dilemma there. Um, it looks like that, it's, it foams almost instantly um, and then when you rub it in it becomes this really really beautiful um, lather and it just smells amazing. I've got it everywhere, this is ridiculous. It smells incredible. I can't wait, cannot wait to use that. I need to put this towel in the wash now because it's everywhere. I'm so glad I was sat next to a towel at the time. So, glossy box for me have completely redeemed themselves. As I said, November's box really, really wasn't screaming out at me as being something that I was impressed with, but this one is amazing and it's just redeemed itself and I cannot wait now for January's one. Um, I'm hoping it's going to stay as amazing. Um, last month's I wouldn't have said was dire, but it wasn't screaming out at me at being one of the best ones they've ever done. So... Um, Yes, that is a small kind of overview of my glossy box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to get your own glossy boxes, I will put the link to the company below and all questions can be answered there. So um, if you want, if you guys want any reviews, please leave me a comment below and I will do a review on them for you. Um, but other than that, have a fantastic evening and I'll talk to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.